Well, hi, welcome to Handmade House TV. I'm Noah Bradley, and on today's episode, we're gonna talk about the four different options for, for putting a roof on our house. Stay tuned. Well, yes, indeed, in my area, there are basically four different kinds of roofing choices that people make. If you live out in the, uh, the desert or out in the west, uh, southwestern part of the United States, or if you're from Sydney, Australia, uh, chances are you're gonna bring in another option, which would be a nice uh, clay tile roof. Uh, but for most of the United States, we really have four different choices of roofing to put on. And that is, uh, the, first of all, there's uh, stone. You can't beat stone, uh, it lasts forever. Uh, slate in particular. Uh, there's also metal roofing, and there's a variety of metal uh, roofs to put on, but uh, the primary choice that I've chosen is copper, but there are, there are at least a dozen other different good choices that can be made. And there are cedar shakes, uh, which is a, a very attractive, natural, woodsy feeling uh, type roof. And to be honest, I have been building houses now for uh, 30 to 40 years, well over 30 years now, and every house that I have ever built has had one of these three different choices of, of roof on it. Uh, each has its merits, each has its pros, and each has its cons, but they're mostly pros. The type of roof, the fourth type of roof, is asphalt shingle roofs. If you were to visit my area, you would find out that that probably 95 to 99 percent of the homes built in this area have asphalt shingle on the, on the roof. Whether or not that is the rock bottom starter home or that is the uh, million plus dollar home, that it seems like uh, that most people, most builders, the only thing that they will consider is asphalt shingles. Uh, and or perhaps what grade of asphalt shingles to put on their house. Uh, it's, uh, it's almost overwhelming. Uh, one of the th reasons why I do not use asphalt shingles is, is I don't like the looks of them. Uh, the, but the second thing is, is that their lifespan is typically less than or right about the length of one's mortgage, 20 to 25 years. Uh, by the time, by the time the day arrives, uh, where you are going to have your house free and clear, it's going to it's going to be yours to keep. Well, surprise! That's the day you have to put to pay to put a new roof on there, and that bothers me. <laughs> maybe maybe it doesn't bother you, but it seems like to me that if you go to the effort of of either building one's own home or building uh, or buy, uh, paying off a long-term mortgage on it that when you get done you ought to be done that your house ought to be long lasting uh, if you were to put a copper roof on a house it will last you your lifetime and chances are the lifetime of your children if you put a stone uh, roof on top of your house it will last uh, it'll last longer than your grandchildren or great-grandchildren will I have used slate salvaged from 200 year old houses and used it on brand new houses fully believing that there's at least another hundred years uh, before they will show a, a wear and tear on them. Uh, I, we are very blessed in this area. Uh, the best slate in the world comes out of Buckingham County, Virginia. So if you're interested in a slate roof, uh, get it from Virginia. Uh, the stuff in New England, uh, God bless the, uh, the New Englanders, but your slate only lasts about 50 years uh, before it starts to crumble and fall apart, whereas the the, the dense black uh, slate that we have here in Buckingham, Virginia is just incredible stuff. But uh, let, me, let me bring out one final point before we close today on, on roofing, and that is that it's not a question of only the cost or of looks or of durability, but there's also the environmental impact of it. And so what I would encourage you to consider is that, is that in the course of a, li a lifetime of any roof, if you, if you think an asphalt shingle roof is gonna last you 20 years, there's 20 years worth of rain that pours upon your house and washes into the environment. Many of us will capture the water from our roof and use it in our garden or, or landscaping needs around our home. 
uh, I would I would ask you to consider taking all of the four types of roofing and make yourself a cup out of it make a make a cup out of stone uh, there the stone there's plenty of stone goblets out there available make yourself a, a goblet out of wood make yourself one out of metal and then make yourself one out of asphalt shingles and allow the water to seep and settle in there for a couple of days and see how inviting it would be to take a drink out of an asphalt cup it's not it's you it just you you know that what's in there is not necessarily the healthiest thing for your body uh, nor is it for our home nor is it for our environment and where does all this asphalt shingle roof go when it's removed from our homes it all goes to the landfill it piles up and it piles up and, and it continues to seep into our environment uh, where does a metal roof go when it's worn out? It, it's melted and recycled. Uh, where does a wood roof go when it's when it's done its time? Uh, it makes excellent kindling for our fireplace. And uh, where, where does uh, where the the final one was? Um, well, um, stone, yeah. And where does stone go? Well, stone can be used for many purposes, from tiling our bathrooms uh, to putting sidewalks out front of our homes, or if nothing else, for a, a sweet little antique chalkboard. So I would invite you to please consider using an alternative type of, of roofing material. I promise you the only hardship involved in using alternative roof is that first check that you have to write in, when putting it on your home. From then on, it's nothing but something that will bring you great joy uh, and, and comfort in knowing the quality and safe material that you've chosen for your own home. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Handmade House TV. Thank you so much for putting up with this old man and for, for tuning in. I would like to thank uh, five new members of the Handmade House Guild. They are Ken Tolar, Renee Frey, John McGinn, Jerry Lee, and Vicki Campbell. Thank you guys for joining us within the Handmade House Guild and for all your kind words about it. And for all you guys that are still on the fence about joining us, please consider it. Meanwhile, we'll see you next week here on Handmade House TV. You guys take care. Bye now.